Welcome to U-Wrench. Today we're working on the Grand Caravan, the Mark V, also applies to the Chrysler Town & Country. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to detach your parking brake cable. Thankfully, the process is identical on either side. So, let's do it. So the way that it works, you can see the handbrake cable coming up here and it actually passes through this uh, metal arm here that's attached onto the back of our caliper. And the cable itself passes through the uh, very center of this and it's got a little hole in the end and, it, and there's a hook here that passes through that hole. And on this little uh, bracket here, a couple of things to note is where this passes through, this actually has a, a plastic tab, like a compression tab, a top and bottom that need to be compressed to get it through the hole. And also there is a little slot uh, just in the front there, which is thick enough for this white section uh, to pass through. The way that it works, we've got the end of our handbrake cable just here. You see there's a hook that passes through the end of our cable. And this is a little arm here that's attached onto the back of the caliper. As you can see, we have this spring on the opposite side. And what happens is when you press the parking brake, this whole arm will move in this direction. So the uh, spring here will actually stretch. And then when you release the parking brake, the spring that's now under tension will pull this arm back down. So the position that we can see at the moment, this is with the parking brake not applied. Now by far the easiest way to detach our handbrake cable is actually to get rid of the spring. Because whilst that spring is there, we're always going to be fighting against it. And once we have this spring out of the way, then this uh, arm here will be able to move. And that's gonna give you the space that you need to be able to get this handbrake cable detached. So let's focus on the spring. So to remove this spring, what you wanna do is grab yourself a large flathead screwdriver. And you'll find that where this uh, hooks on, there'll be an end of the spring. Mine's on the uh, rear here, unfortunately. It's usually easier if it's on the front. And if it was on the front, you could put this under the uh, edge of it. You can just force it up quite easily and unhook it. Coming from the back, it's a little bit harder, so we'll show it to you using the harder of the two options, but the principle's the same. And make sure you're wearing eye protection when you're doing this, just in case this decides to spring off. So as mine's on the back, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, as I said, I would normally, if it's on the front, I'd do it like this. I don't really want to be uh, pointing this tool towards me. So if it was on the front, it's nice and easy. You can just get it under that lip, start to force it up, and just feed it off. However, on the back here, I don't want to be really pointing the screwdriver towards myself. We do have a little uh, flat edge just at the back here. So we can use that as a leverage point. So I can put this just under the uh, edge of that uh, spring there and use this flat edge at the back as a point to lever from. So there we go, simple as that. So that's all I did there is I kind of came up underneath it a little bit like that get it just under the edge, twisted it up inside it as much as I could, and then used the leverage, and came up the screwdriver, and just came off of the front. So that is now detached. Now, in theory, if your caliper is nice and healthy, this little arm here, you should be able to push this over by hand. Unfortunately, you see our caliper is not in great shape, and this certainly isn't going to be moving by hand. So option number two, if yours a little bit seized up like ours is, is you can uh, press the uh, parking brake down and use the cable to pull the arm across. Remember, it won't have the spring attached, so it will come straight to, to the uh, full position in this direction. So as we can see, in our particular case, we have the worst case scenario. As I mentioned right at the start, you should literally be able to move this with your hand if you have a healthy caliper. But ours isn't moving even when we apply that parking brake. So the last thing we can try and do is try and get it manually moving by using a hammer and our flathead screwdriver. Just to help us out a little bit, I'm gonna put some penetration spray uh, on the back here. It's gonna be really useful for getting stuck components like this moving again. We're using liquid wrench, uh, but you can buy uh, anything. Standard WD-40 is does a fairly decent job, and WD-40 also do a specialist penetrating uh, oil, very similar to this, that you can pick up on Amazon at a really good price. You see I've managed to uh, get some of the air pressure off of this cable now. And a quick tip for you if you are working on the parking brake cables. This is on the underside of the vehicle and we're on the driver's side and we're about uh, approximately about three feet from the rear wheels, the rear wheels in that direction. If you have a look underneath, you can see this arrangement here. And this is the main cable. This goes up into the vehicles attached to the pedal, passes through a bracket here, single cable, goes into this little uh, bracket, which then changes it into two cables. And the top cable, that's the uh, driver's side one, and the bottom one, that's the passenger side. As you can see in our example, the uh, passenger side is completely loose here. Yours won't be, yours won't be at an angle, yours will be straight. 
The reason for this is we're actually doing some work on the uh, parking brake cable on that side. But ignore that, it won't affect anything that you're doing. And then our two cables pass along here into another bracket and then go off onto the calipers. And if you're struggling to get that parking brake unhooked, what you can do is you can help by creating a little bit more space just here. So we can actually pull this cable in this way a little bit. And of course, by doing that, likewise, these cables go in that direction. That's going to give you that little bit of extra space. This step is entirely optional and you only need to do this if you're struggling to get it off. So what you can do, it's a little bit awkward, uh, like I said, especially for us as we don't have this one attached. What you want to do is grab a clamp you want to clamp between this point here and the edge of the bracket just there. So let's pull that in a little bit. I'm going to do the same with the other one at the top here. You can see we've now exposed a little bit of the cable, so we've pulled the cable in this direction. And you can also see we've got a bit of a, a bit of slack in our cable now. And sometimes this little trick can be exactly what's needed just to get that little bit of extra space to unhook it on the caliper. So now we've got plenty of uh, movement on our cable here. However, because it's on a hook, we need to kind of lift it in this direction so we can unhook the end of it. So it needs to lift up like this, so then we can unhook it. Now sometimes, if you're lucky, you can kind of come under here, manipulate the cable a little bit, depends how much you've got available to you. We don't have quite enough. We're out by a few millimetres. So now I want to compress these two tabs that I have on the sleeve. One on the bottom, another on the top. Now I'm going to use this as a leverage point here. I'm just going to push that backwards. What you're looking to do is get this front edge just in front of this bracket. So then you can feed this white part of the air cable through the slot in the side. And then as you can see, it'll unhook uh, easy as pie. So that's how we detach the handbrake cable on the Grand Caravan. As you saw on ours, unfortunately, we had the worst case scenario. This caliper's pretty badly seized up. Now, if you do need any help on how to replace your caliper, or maybe you're doing a brake job, want to know how to change rotors, pads, uh, or even the parking brake cables, all that sort of stuff, we've done videos on all of that for you. And we will add links to those videos into the video description below. And before you leave us, if this video has been helpful for you, can you please be sure to at least hit that like button for us. Also, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We've got hundreds more great videos just waiting for you to check out. We appreciate it. We'll see you again.